Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are starting off in my bathroom. I am doing a vanity tour, I guess. I've been asked to show what I have in my everyday makeup collection. So I'm going to show you that today, but I figured while we're here, I'm trying to get in the habit of switching these products out so I can use more of my makeup regularly. The other problem with that is this is pretty much my everyday makeup look. A little bronzer in the crease, some lip, some mascara, foundation, concealer, all that stuff, but it's pretty basic. So it doesn't really inspire me to do a lot when I'm up here getting ready. I do that downstairs. But I'm going to show you what I currently have in my stash. We're going to go downstairs, switch some stuff out, and yeah. I've been asked to do this, so I thought this was the perfect time. Before we get into the video, if you're new, join the family, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Okay, so I don't have the best lighting in here, so I'm sorry if the color looks a little off, but... We're filming on my phone, it is what it is. So this is my bathroom, whoa, stepped on my scale. <laughs> my bathroom vanity with pretty much my everyday stuff. It's still a lot of stuff up here, but you know, we like to have options. So with my water, this right here is basically just a hodgepodge. I have a face oil, a primer, a moisturizer. This is just literally junk. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't know why it's up there. These are my travel fragrances, so not these big ones, but like these little ones back here, I love to keep in my travel bag. So I just stash them all right there and switch them out. Brushes, eye products, lip liner, mascara. I have some palettes right here. And then this is the main stuff. So I have a few found, several <laughs> foundations. Right now I'm using the Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, come on, get it together. The House Labs, this is the Givenchy, I have the KVD, this is Older, this is the CoverGirl Outlast, this you can't even get anymore, but it is legitimately, legitimately one of my favorites. Um, more KVD just because I was checking the shades, uh, Beauty Blender, I think that's all the foundations. Why I have both of these up here at the same time, I have no idea. This one is a little lighter, this one's a little darker. But then I also have this pure no filter bronze. So it's kind of the same thing. Doing too much. This back here is my Too Faced. I haven't used this. I don't even know why it's up here. Yes, I need to. Um, this is a primer, the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright. Come on, camera focus. Do we not do autofocus auto on this thing? There we go. Um, this is my Ole Henriksen toner for dark spots. I'm almost at the end of this. Tatcha cleanser. This is a La Mer eye cream that I told myself I needed to hurry up and use because that is too expensive not to. This is my Mary Kay eye makeup remover. Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow, kind of like a serum, glowy, not a primer, but whatever. It, I bought it and it wasn't what I thought it was, so trying to use it. This is the Kinship Mega Shade Sunscreen. I could just put this phone down. Hold on. All right, feel like I had y'all at a weird angle and I was moving too much. Um, this is the Kiehl's Line Reducing Concentrate. I use this mainly on my forehead. I have some Sunday Riley. There's some skin cuffs, skincare stuff in here because I don't have a lot of room up here for other stuff. Um, I don't have a lot of drawer space. This is the Kiehl's Dark Spot Corrector. Eye Drops. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. We have some Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. My favorite exfoliating cleanser of all time. I have like three bottles downstairs. Lipsticks, Huda Beauty, which one is this called? SheEO, one of my favorites. These are lash products, random stuff. This was in my travel bag. It's an eye cream. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Praline Love. 
And then we also have the MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color. This one is in Bated Breath. Also, these are just like everyday staples for me. Tower 28, I think this is Cashew, yeah. Dose of Colors, this is Nude Mood. So I keep mostly nudes up here, ColourPop Gloss. So I think that's everything. Oh no, just started wearing this. This is what I have on today. Really, really like it. Just my first time trying it within the past few months, so good. Um, also down here, the palettes that I have. Okay, so I said I needed to start using my Pat McGrath more, so I brought Pat McGrath palettes up here, and then I have not done <laughs> my eyeshadow with them because most of the time when I do my eyeshadow up here, it is literally just throw something on and go. So I'm probably going to leave those up here because I do want to use them, but these other two I actually just brought up here because I'm trying to decide if I want to keep them. I have never used them. I just kind of played in them the other night. This is the Chic Glam Cactus Cool Palette. Pretty, but my first impression, just kind of like a day like today where I don't really have eyeshadow on, I tried to just kind of throw a little look together real quick and I was not impressed. So I'm going to give it a chance when I'm actually dedicating my time to using it. Um, this one right here, Nabla Poison Garden, I had not used before. And so... I brought it up here just to see so I swatched it I used this blue I touched on this pink and then I was trying to put this shade on my lid and as you can see Barbara has a bad habit of using the same brush stuck the brush in there and now the pink is in there I don't think I used it enough yet to determine if I like it or not um, definitely like it more than the green one but yeah, so those are probably going to stay up here, but we're going to take the rest of this stuff downstairs. I don't know if I'm going to swatch like product for product what I have in here because there's quite a bit of stuff. So this is my concealers and primers. I'm trying to turn this to make sure you can see it. Um, so I've been using this. This is actually old, but I just opened it. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, Y'all know I love this and I've also kept this up here because I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad because it's expansive. Um, I have these two trying to compare if the, Campar if the Campari is similar to the Becca. It's really not because the Becca goes on a lot more dry. The Campari is creamier and yeah. And I brought this up here because I said I was going to use it. I have not. Haven't been using that. Um, I don't know when I, I don't really use this. I don't use this. So some of this stuff just really needs to come out of here. These are the other eyeshadow palettes that I have up here. Now these I just switched out and I haven't even used them all. If I'm doing my eyeshadow to get out of here quick, these two are on top because these are the first two I grab. And it's because of these two shades right here. And because of... Don't drop it, Lord. These two shades right here. When I want to throw on a quick look, I grab those. Used the Druid palette recently. I do like that, so I probably could swatch that out. Have not used the Soul Tree. And then these small ones I haven't really used either. But I'm going to see. Over here, it's just kind of junk. So these are eyeliners, mascaras, setting powder, moisturizer, which I stuck in here just to get stuff from off my countertop. We got a pair of lashes. Lash glue, lip stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, my Morphe eyebrow wax. I don't know if I'm going to switch out any of this stuff, but we'll see. Then here, I definitely need to switch some stuff out. These are my blushes and my highlighters. I kind of just use the stuff that's easy, right? So these liquid ones, I feel like if I'm in a hurry, I don't grab those first because I feel like it takes more time. So probably going to switch those out. And then this bottom drawer is kind of just a hodgepodge um, because this is a blush, this is a bronzer, this is a setting powder, this is a contour, Sephora, I think this was a foundation stick, but I got a dark shade and I use it when I want to contour, more lashes, more setting powders, more blush, another foundation. So I'm going to attempt 
to bring this whole thing downstairs and not spill anything and try to swap some, out, some stuff out. So let's go downstairs. All right, so I had to make two trips because this thing is surprisingly heavy. Um, let's go ahead and start here and we're gonna start with switching out the foundation. So we're gonna take this out. Oh, I don't know if I wanna take this one out. These two are like my staples for best color matches. Mm. <laughs> okay, Barbara, that's not how this is supposed to work. Take them out, switch them out. So we're going to take, oh, yes, this one, and then this one back here. I feel like I thought I saw something else. Yeah. And we also have this one back here. Oh, this is still in the box and I haven't tried it. So we're going to move her to the top, and that is going to be one we need to try. So these are the foundations that we are going to switch out. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. We're going to sit these on this chair. I need some room. All right, so these are my foundations. <laughs> don't talk about it. Don't judge me. Let's just get to the video. So I have no idea. This is one that I want to try more. So we're going to take her out. This is going to be so hard. I want to try this one more because I haven't worn it in a while. I have not worn this. Oh, you know what else I haven't worn? It's not time yet. The other NARS, the, um, the matte one in the squeeze tube. Where is she? I don't even know where it's at. It's in there somewhere. Should be on this side, but I don't know where. Really, Barbara? Oh, here we go. I have not worn this one yet. So this one probably needs to be included. I'll probably be able to wear it when I get back from back from vacation because then I will be a little darker. I think I remember it being a little too dark right now. So I don't know. That's only two. Let me just see. All right, so I think we're gonna go with these for right now. I am kind of worried because I don't feel like out of these, any of these are like super matte and long wearing. And yes, your girl needs something to wear for the gym. I was trying to make sure I pick a drugstore option or two in here. I don't know if you call this drugstore, but I need to even see if I wanna keep this or not. So that's why it's there. Let me find one more that I feel like you know what? We're going to do this. Ooh, she separated a lot. I've had this for a minute. Look at that separation. Do y'all throw y'all's out when it gets that bad? Because I'm not, <laughs> but I just wanted to know. Asking for a friend. Um, You know what? Let me try this. I need to see which one of these works for me. So I'm going to bring this upstairs because I feel like this will be good enough to wear for the gym. I'm also adding this one to the mix because mm, I want to wear it, but I also haven't shown it on camera. So I probably need to, you know what, I'm going to keep it down here because I need to film with it and then I'm going to bring it upstairs. But So let's see if we can make all these fit. I still think it's less than what I had before, so ooh, should be fine. There we go. Oh my God. Why do these caps come off so easy? Let me stick something up here. Thank you. Man, why can't you fit? Okay, let me see if I take this out of the box. There we go. So that is it for foundations. Those have been swapped out. Now we got to get into, I'm going to save lips for last because I don't really care about that. Let's look at concealers since it is in the same drawer and see what we can switch out. All right, so for concealer, I just brought this Huda Beauty one up here, so I'm going to keep this one. 
in here. So we're just going to sit it back here. But I'm going to take these out. This elf one's almost done. I'm going to keep that one. I'm trying to use it up. Literally had to take the plug out of it. I haven't even used this one. And I think it's time for me to declutter it. Because it is way too light. And I just... I don't see me getting a lot of use out of it. So that's probably going in my next declutter. So I think this is it. So I have my drugstore ones on this side and then the high end on this side. So what do we want to bring upstairs? I have not used this one yet. So I'm going to bring it upstairs. I haven't used it on camera either. I'll put that to use next. <laughs> So not coming upstairs, but we would put her in the need to use ASAP. Uh, what else do we have down here that I have not? Whoops. Oh, I haven't used this yet. I haven't used it on camera either. And now I don't even know if you can get it. So this will be perfect to bring upstairs. That color does. How about I get out the light? Come on, Barbara. This color does not look that great, but we will see. Let's see what we have on the drugstore side that I need to try. I don't know why I put the Zara one, but I only used it in a video once. So I'm going to bring that upstairs. Never been used. Bring it upstairs. I don't have a lot of stuff. What is this? Makeup Revolution. I guess I can bring that upstairs too. That's probably enough concealers, but I want... Oh, I have my... um. Oh... I haven't used this on camera either. Hmm. What is this? Makeup Revolution. That should be on that side. Belief Beauty should be on this side. Oh, that's really light though. Let me bring, let me do this. Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. Bring that upstairs. I think that's enough. And I'll bring this Becca. I want something closer to my skin tone. So we'll bring this up. So now slide this this way because our primers are right here. These two are staying. I guess I can take this out. I probably need to get rid of it. I'm going to put this somewhere else. I'm going to also take this out. And I guess I can put that in here. This is the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. These are eyeshadow primers. I don't use these. This Mary Kay one I'm going to throw away. This Fenty, I'm going to chunk it. I don't use eyeshadow primers that don't have coverage. I just don't, and I don't know why I hold on to them. Okay, and then this Becca, not Becca Lord, Smashbox. What's she looking like? I'm probably I'm gonna throw this away. I have my other two. Stop hoarding. All right. So primers. These two are gonna stay. This Tula under eye. I like to use pretty regularly, so that's gonna stay. As far as primers, I want to use. I'm gonna bring this LYS one upstairs, which is probably kind of similar to this, but that's all right. And what else? I feel like I want one more because a lot of the primers I'm bringing up are dewy. Maybe a mattifying. Oh, I forgot. I want to bring this upstairs. I haven't used it on camera yet. I feel like when I bring stuff upstairs. Mm, I'm still bringing it. Um, <laughs> I feel like when I bring stuff upstairs, then it doesn't trigger me to use it down here. But. I don't know. Okay, so I want a mattifying primer. What do I have? Ooh, I haven't used this in forever, but I remember that I really liked it. Oh, you know what? I need to use my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, so I need to find that. Okay, y'all don't laugh at me, but there is a whole nother section. These are backups, and that primer that I want is in here somewhere. Here it is. So I'm going to try one of these, because I think both of these... Do I want to open something? I need to. Because do these go bad if you don't open it? I don't know. But, damn it, man. 
Do I have anything else that is mattifying? Oh, you know what? I'm bring this upstairs, the blow jam. No, because I have the... See, this is the problem. I have the Tula one upstairs that is like this, so not yet. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else in here that's mattifying. To hell, I'm just going to bring this up. It's fine. All right, so now we are moving on to blushes. So this is currently what I have. There's blushes and highlighters in here. So for blushes, God, this is so hard because some of these are legitimately my favorites and I don't want to switch them out. But these are the four, and these are all more than one, like they're duos. That's another reason why I have them upstairs. Tom Ford... One size blush and bronzer rich bitch is my favorite. This one from Cover FX that I don't think you can get anymore. And then also this one from Mac, which I don't think you can get anymore. So it's hard to switch those out because it's a blush and bronzer in one. But we're going to do this chocolate chip from Fashion Fair. Taking everything out the bin so I can make sure they fit. What is this? I have not used this yet. So we're taking out, let's see, a dewy blush. We're going to take out Rare Beauty, even though I haven't used it. Put this Say Do blush in there. Uh, What else? I also have this Milani Cheek Cream product that we're going to put back. And what am I going to replace her with? Not Bare Minerals. Not Mary Kay, because this is kind of an orange. Do I want a different shade, or do I want the same shade? What is this polish? Because I haven't used this yet. Ooh, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring her upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and bring this Almay blush upstairs, too. I want something else that is going to be able to fit that is multitasking. Ooh, yeah, we're going to bring her up. Natasha Denona, I have not used this yet. What else? I need more of a... Eh, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. What is this? Oh, LYS Cream Blush. Ooh, this is the berry one. I should probably bring this one up because... I don't think I've used it. I've only swatched it. Yeah, we need her upstairs. I think that's going to be it right now for blushes. So I'm going to put these other ones back. There's nothing. Oh, I'm going to bring this one upstairs. There's nothing else really screaming to me right now to try it. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put these other ones back. And then pick out some highlighters. All right, so I'm trying to get y'all the best angle. These are my highlighters. So we are going to figure out what I need to swap out. My Dior is going to go back somewhere. Man, I've been loving that. This Super Shock Cheek is going back. This little NARS, that's a blush. I'm not putting that down there. <laughs> and then my ABH is going to go back. I'm going to take this Nabla one out because I want to try this. I don't feel like, I have two? What is this? No, this is a powder. That's the one on that side. Okay. Like, why do I have two of those? Um, I'm going to swap out my ColourPop for this Fenty. I like having options upstairs. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet. 
Oh, what's this? Ooh, I haven't used this in forever. Do I have a goldish one? No. This might be cute to bring up. Is this the one we want? Or do we want to try one of these Jaclyn Hill ones? Oh, this Artist Couture one? No, that's two. I want to try some of my newer ones, though. Jaclyn? I think this iced one was too light. It's pretty, though. Ooh. I feel like that kind of looks like the Nobla one, though. You know what? I'm going to bring this one upstairs. I haven't. I want to have a drugstore option. Do I want a liquid one? I never use that. I think that'll be good. So this isn't getting too out of hand. So this is what we're bringing upstairs for highlighters and blush now. And I'm also sticking this one back in. I've had this for a while, but it is not even open. So there's a liquid one. If I ever use it. We're going to stay in this drawer to make things easier because my setting powders are right here. And pray my tripod don't fall. Because I literally found the flimsiest tripod I had in the house. Because that's how you are successful filming a video, right? Oh, come on. Alright, that's as good as it's going to get. So, setting powders, I don't have a lot. I have four and I rotate through these religiously. I can tell you right now, this one is definitely staying. This is my Nakia Joy Cosmetics. Love, love, love. So she's going to stay, but the other ones I can swap out. I'm also keeping this one up here. This is the NARS um, Light Reflecting Powder. This one is in the shade Sunstone. I love using this one to set my under eye if my concealer is too bright. So I'm going to keep that one too. Unless I find something in here that is similar enough. I just feel like I don't have a lot of space. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Dior? Is that similar enough? I feel like I have another one like this. Kosas. Where are you at? Let's see. I know these are supposed to be powders. Ooh, you hard to open. Yeah, let's bring that upstairs. Or do we want Dior? They look almost identical. I don't think I realize that. I don't have y'all in the best light to see this, but that is what they look like. So we'll bring, I think, let me bring Kosas because I've had that the longest and I'm going to take Nars out. All right, so the rest of this, this is actually, I'm going to put this on the side because this is just a mix of random powders that I had. And then this is my Derma Blend, which I've been using religiously. So I definitely want a translucent setting powder like the Derma Blend that is not going to leave a flashback. You know what? I know this is the perfect time to use stuff. Oh, yeah, you know, I mean, might. This is not quite the same, but I think I'm going to use this Uoma Beauty Smooth Tripping. I don't even think I've used this on camera, though, and it's not translucent. I'm still going to bring it upstairs because everything I have upstairs right now is translucent. So we're going to grab this one and put this back. not right there because you don't want to fit um and what else I don't know what else I guess that one's kind of light oh you know what I wore this the other day this is so old though this is the boots number seven no is it number seven not boots is the brand boots do they even make this anymore I don't remember oh Becca, what is this? Oh, you know what? This is kind of like the sunstone. I should... I'm going to wait. Focus, Barbara. Um, Let me go ahead and bring this upstairs. So I can have a option that is in a compact. So I think that's all we need for setting powders. You know what? 
<laughs> I think that's enough. That's enough for right now. Yeah, clearly I didn't think this through because bronzers are down here, but I went up and now I'm coming back down. I only have three bronzers, which I'm very surprised at. These are the three bronzers I have upstairs. This is my ride or die. She's coming back upstairs because I don't ever, like, let me see. I'm pretty sure it's coming back upstairs. This ColourPop one, I tried to use it. Focus. I tried to use it and I struggled because I didn't have the right brush. So I may bring this back up so I can use it again. But I'm going to put this Sephora one back. Oh, I got a lighter one. Um, Because it is also really dark and I have to be careful. I'm going to take out, I want to try this, this Jacqueline one. I'm going to take the Morphe one out. It pains me to do this because I know it is never an issue with being able to make sure that it is matching when I use that, but there's no point in having all this makeup if you're gonna only wear the same stuff over and over. Oh man, I'm trying to play Tetris. Let me go back here for now. Um, what else? So I have Jacqueline, ColourPop. I'm gonna take out one size. So we're gonna bring that one up. And then I want another cream one. Ooh, I'm going to bring this upstairs. This is my Melt Stack. That has all of these different shades. That's so dark. I'm going to bring that upstairs. That'll be a good option to have. So I think that's enough. Ooh, I want to bring this upstairs. I need to bring this with me on vacation. Oh yeah, we're bringing this on vacation. This is going to my makeup bag. <laughs> All right, so this is what we have. Powders are down here now. Those are the ones I want to use. And we'll stick the bronzers down here too. I feel like this takes up less space than what I had before. So that's a good sign. So what else? So bronzers are done, blushes and highlighters are done, concealers and primers are done, foundations are done. So we still need to do lips oh, and eyeshadow palettes. I might switch some stuff out of here. I don't know. Let's do eyeshadow palettes. I'm just going to go, because this is too hard, y'all. Like, this is eyeshadow palettes in here. This is eyeshadow palettes in here. There's eyeshadow palettes in this drawer. And then there's also eyeshadow palettes. This is where I really need to look, because this is my drawer of shame. And this is not even everything I have not used yet. So, matter of fact, while we're in here, let's look. Do I want some color? I'm gonna bring this up because I have not used it yet. Ooh, I know what else I wanna bring up, but I'm trying to keep small ones that I can fit in my drawer. What else is in here? I don't think any of these other ones are gonna fit. That's another reason why I have the ones up there that are there. So we may not be digging in this drawer. Let me go back. On the other side but I'm gonna hold this Dior one so let's just look up here nothing really small up here do I want to use any of these I think I would only take the neutral one I try to keep these cards with them but I feel like there was one. Ooh, she might have to come upstairs. Yeah, that's the neutral one I was talking about. Hmm, do I bring them both? I forgot about my blushes up here, my Pat McGrath blushes. I should bring one of those up too. Let's see. That's a highlighter. Electric Bloom. Oh, I think that was the... Bright one. Ooh, break my nail. That 
guy is so pretty. Um. Oh no, let me bring this other one. This other one has two blushes in it. I think this is the one. Yeah, we're bringing her upstairs. In this drawer, okay, there are some smaller palettes in here. So let's see. I don't think there's really anything though. Like some of these I've already had upstairs and I don't wanna bring them back. None of these, and all the ones back there are kind of big. I already have big ones there, so this might work because there's some smaller ones here. So let's look through these and see. The khaki one I traveled with, wild I traveled with, this was upstairs before. I don't feel like this one would be, no. I don't feel like that's every day. Ooh, did I have this one upstairs? I think I had this one upstairs for a while. I did. Um, I don't know. Like, I look at these and I like them. I just don't feel like there's anything in here that is, like, inspiring me. Like, oh, I need to have this so I can start using it again. Which is probably a sign, but we're not talking about that. I don't know if I ever use this. Maybe I should bring that up. I just know that I use, the stuff I bring upstairs is for everyday use. These don't feel like everyday use to me. That's this one. Now that could be, maybe. Let me take her out and see. Um, other small ones on this side. See, that's the problem. I'm limited because of the size. So, do I have this one upstairs? I'm all in the light probably. If I have a green one already. Let's see. I'm going to bring this one upstairs. The Milani Soft and Sultry. I've never used this. So, she needs to come up. Let's see if I can make them fit. Y'all, this palette right here. I will never, ever, 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 ever get rid of. Ever. Oh, I should bring that upstairs. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So now the question is, can we make them fit? And what am I willing to take out to make them fit? Because oh, this is the hard part. I want to keep this one upstairs. I just do. I literally use it almost every single day. So... Hmm, probably why I should take it out because then I will use other stuff. Okay, this one definitely needs to come out. I keep leaving it because I say I'm going to use it and then I don't use it. So I'm going to take this out. I still haven't used this and that's why I brought it up the last time and I didn't use it the last time. So I wish these could stand up, can it? No. Oh, I kind of want to keep this one up there. All right, let's see with the ones for sure. So... Milani Soft and Sultry, Grind, Bobby Brown, Pat McGrath, Blush, Boudoir Noir, damn it, Dior Backstage, perfect, Pat McGrath, perfect. So now, what do I have room for? I want to put Sultry back. <laughs> oh, I don't have room. Okay, only one Pat McGrath right now. We can switch it out later. So do I want this one? color. Do I need this in there? I'm going to keep that one too, just because it fits well. What else can I put? So I'm going to switch out this Natasha Denona and put this one up there. <laughs> I also just put this one up here and I haven't used it yet, so can we make her fit? Literally playing Tetris. All right, that's enough because what ends up happening is I grab what's on top and I'm out. So... Oh, I took my chocolates out. <laughs> Don't. Okay. I'll be okay. There's other mattes. There's other browns. I'll be okay. All right. For lips, I'm not that particular. I normally just go for a nude. It's easy. So 
I have lip products stored up here. Those are mainly my display ones, but I also sometimes pull them in a pinch. And then I also have lips, excuse my mess, in here. These are lip sticks, liquid lipsticks. There's probably, I need to move this. And then there are some more down here. So I'm not gonna drive myself or y'all crazy trying to look through and figure this out. So let me just pull some and then I'll show you what I'm switching out. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm not taking any of my bullets upstairs. So we're gonna take, man, who might have to stay? <laughs> but we're gonna take these out. And let's see what we have. So I'm gonna do this Tarte lip paint. I wanted something with a little more color. We're gonna do this Fenty. Oh, put you back there. We're gonna do a drugstore. This is L'Oreal. I forgot the name of this. I Explore, I think is what it says. I'm also gonna bring this Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is her liquid lipstick in Jaybird. I might have to put this somewhere else, but this is just a Milani lip pencil kind of situation. I'll stick that in there. I'm gonna bring up my makeup by Mario. And then this I have not used, a Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I don't remember when I got that, so I'm gonna stick that up there too. And then I also have more lip liners because I only have one upstairs. These are all browns. One I have upstairs is more of a red. And this is why I struggle in real life. So uh, I just realized I don't have a lip oil. So I'm going to bring this one upstairs. And of course you're not going to fit. Oh, I guess I'm not bringing it upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to find another lip oil because I do like using those before I do my makeup. Putting this back, even though I have the Milani one, I'm not changing out my eye stuff. Honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> and then I'm also going to add these. So I'm going to add the Chucky lipstick since I have room. This is the Milani wax, liquid brow wax. I'm going to put that in there. The Fenty Primer, I'm going to bring upstairs because I remembered that I wanted to try this again because I just bought one during the 21 Days of Beauty and I don't remember. I think that one was too light. So this one was too light. Then I'm going to put this little cutie. This is a Tarte lipstick. I like the shade of it. And then I'm putting this back. I actually like this and I feel like my makeup lasted so good when I wore this. So... No fit in the back. I probably should stick that somewhere else, but that's it. I'm gonna get this back upstairs. All right, we are back upstairs and everything is back where it should be. I brought these lip liners in. I'm gonna take them out the box and put those in there. If I have any other lip liners somewhere, I'll take those out, but this is what we have now. So I'm pretty excited. I feel like I went shopping, basically. I ain't gonna lie, that was a little stressful. So I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this because did I add some stuff? I think I told y'all what I added. Um, I also stuck this in here for a eye primer. Um, yeah, that's a little stressful trying to like pick it out on camera and rush. I like to play with stuff and swatch it and figure out like what I want to do. So I just did this this one time. I don't know if I'm gonna continue to do these videos. Y'all comment, and let me know what you think. If y'all want to watch it, if you think it's good, then I will keep doing it. If y'all think it was a bit much and my camera angles were bad, then I will quit doing it because I don't have a cameraman, it's just me. So trying to figure out how to hold this and do everything at the same time was a lot, but yeah. So this is what we have now, excited to play in some new to me makeup. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these. Do you want to see any of these in a video? If you haven't, you know, just talk to me. Love to hear from y'all. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.